to illustrate a basic example of creating a character rig, I've got a simple arm here, which has an upper arm, a lower arm, and a hand. So the first thing I want to do when I'm creating a character rig is to add pegs to all of these layers. And I can do that by shift selecting all of my layers and then pressing the add peg button. And that'll add a peg to all of my layers. The next thing I want to do is set up the pivot points on these pegs. So I want to select my rotation tool and move my peg in place. Since this is the lower arm, I'm going to put it at the elbow. Then I'm going to select my hand peg and move it around where the wrist would be. And then for the upper arm, I'll drag it to the shoulder. Now you'll see if I rotate my upper arm, the rest of the arm doesn't follow along with it. We need to parent the lower arm to the upper arm, and we need to parent the hand to the lower arm. So I'll start with the hand first. So I'll select the hand peg, and I'll move it into the lower arm. And you'll see a blue line appear. So when I let go, this hand has now drug into the lower arm peg. But you can see it's on top of our drawing layer, which is down here. So I'm going to drag my lower arm drawing layer and put it just above the hand peg. And then same thing, I'm going to grab my lower arm peg and drag that underneath the upper arm peg. And you'll see that blue line appear showing that it's going to be parented. And I'll let go. So now you can see whenever a layer is stepped to the right one, that means it's parented under the layer above it. So our lower arm is parented under our upper arm and our hand is parented underneath our lower arm. So now if I select my upper arm, you can see it's selecting all the layers that are parented to it. So now I can take my rotation tool and I can rotate my upper arm and all of my layers will follow it. Before I do any of that though, I wanna make sure to set keyframes on my first frame. It's really important when you have your character rig all set up to shift select all of your first frames and add motion keyframes to them. Then we can go down in our timeline and do the same thing. So I'll shift select all of my layers, add a motion keyframe. So that way it sets a keyframe on my entire character rig. And then I'll make sure my animate button is turned on and I'll start moving it into place. So I'll move my upper arm, my lower arm, and my hand. So now we have pretty much the most basic movement you can, but the cool thing is that this is parented. So whatever the upper arm does, the lower parts will follow it. Let's spice it up a bit. So one easy way to spice it up is we could select all of our keyframes using shift select and just set our easing to this S curve here. And it's already a much more natural motion, but let's spice it up even more. I want to create an anticipation around frame five. So to do that, I want to copy this first pose here. So I'm going to select all of my keyframes, hold down control and drag my keyframes onto about frame five and it'll create a duplicate pose. So on my frame five, I'm going to do a little bit of an anticipation where our hand moves in the opposite direction. And again, I'll select all of these keyframes and I'll set the easing to this S curve. And if we play it, our hand now has an anticipation before it moves. It's looking better. We're not quite there yet. So here I want to do an overshoot. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to shift select all of these keyframes, hold down control and drag that to about there. So now we have our end pose copied in two places. In this end pose, I'm going to do an overshoot where it goes just a little bit past our stopping point. And I'll select all of those keyframes and add the S easing onto it as well. Now if we play it, we've got a hand that has an anticipation and an overshoot. And one more final thing we can do, we can add a drag onto our hand simply by clicking in the middle, adding a keyframe, and then rotating this hand so it drags behind. That's a super easy way to just add a little bit of drag into your animation.